Let's start on our back, okay? Nathan's gonna be down on his knees. Okay, I'm gonna have the shin shield and the elbow on the inside. Hand is gonna go underneath the armpit, okay? Bottom hand is gonna go to the outside of his leg, okay? Pinky toes are on the mat. I'm using this to start shrimping back. From here, I'm able to uh, unwind and start looking for my guard recovery, okay? In this transition, guys, I have the ability to lift my hips using the grip that's on the ribs on this side and the foot that's hooked on his, on his uh, shoulder, his armpit area with this leg, okay? My hand, the one that was on the outside of the leg, I shrimp, the hand that was on the outside of the leg is gonna pummel inside. Everybody sees this grip here? I don't want here, I don't want like this. I wanna put my hand in position for how I'm gonna finish this technique. Not what's beneficial to me right now. Is this the best grip right now where I'm at? Probably not. This is probably the best grip for pulling. It. But for setting up what I'm gonna be looking for, this. Now I can start shooting the hips and looking for my triangle. Look at how I finish, guys. The arm is now pulled across by that grip that I had. I can grab my shin, and now I can start making my adjustments on my triangle, turning my knees to, into the same direction, turning this knee in, okay? From here, I would bridge my hips up, expose my hamstring into his neck, and pull his neck into that exposed hamstring. Again, I have my shin shield. I have my armpit shield on this side. My elbow is underneath my knee not vice versa, which makes him a lot, a lot more powerful here. He can, kill my, he can kill my frames. Whereas when my elbow's on the inside, it's stronger. Hand goes to the outside of the leg. I shut back, I get up onto my shoulders. I don't wanna do this from here, guys. I wanna bridge, I wanna make this space behind me so that when I start going for this roll, I find my grip, I shoot my hips, grab my shin, make my adjustments, lift, finish my try. Get to this side. Hands to the outside leg, shrimp, get up to the shoulder. Here, shoot. This hand helps me too, guys. Keeps me up. Make my adjustment, turn my knees to where they are in the same direction, lift the hips, pull the head. One more time on this side, shin shoot. Frame, hands to the outside of the leg, get up onto your shoulder, shoot. Lock, you can even look for an extra underhook here. Turn the knees into the same direction, lift, pull the head to the exposed hamstring, and we have a strong triangle. Cool, any questions? Just pulling that head to more of a 45. I wanna pull, it, yeah. Uh, actually, this is something Junior was talking about on Monday. When I lift my hips here and I expose this hamstring, I'm just pulling down, I'm not pulling into any you know, one side or the other, I'm just pulling the head down. And you're gonna get a lot of finishes that way, yes. But if I pull it into that exposed hamstring on the side that's not, not being touched by anything, because on this side I have his shoulder being pulled into his neck on this side, I need to be you know, putting, generating all that force towards that side of the neck. Does that make sense? Cool, other questions guys? Okay, on two, one, two, let's go.